Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series and the Kingdom Living Pocket City Guides and the Kingdom Living Bible City Guides. And did you know, did you realize or have you thought about the fact that in Genesis 1, God created all the earth in six days and the end of the sixth day he created man. And he said that everything he created, he said, it is good, it is very good. And then he created man. And he put him on the earth and he said, have dominion and authority over all the earth. And what I want to point out to you and what is so exciting to me is that when you and me are not rich and have abundance and have an overflow, we are, uh, what is the word that I was thinking of? Um, we're not ripping off God, but we're, we're not the way God wants us to be. You see, his original intent was to create everything that we needed for life or godliness in the first six days. And the seventh day, create man so that man could rest in him, that man didn't have to toil, didn't have to work by the sweat of their bras, but that God would provide everything for us. And if you go to Genesis 1 and you read through uh, all the way 1 through 27 or 26, he says everything he made and then he said that, uh, it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion. Okay, he gave us dominion. And it goes on to say, and then God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. Okay, over everything that moves on the earth. And God said, see, I have given you the herb that yields seed, which is on all the face of the earth, and every tree fruit fruit tree yielding seed I have given to you it shall be for food and it goes on to say um, also all the beasts of the earth and the air and the creep on the ground that is life I have given to you every green herb for food and so it was so and then God saw that he what he had made and he said indeed it is very good so the evening and the morning was the day of the sixth day so God created everything we need for life and godliness there was no toil. When Adam sold out and gave his earth dominion to Satan so that earth became the overlord and the king and the god of earth, then man lost it and man had to work and get everything, by, become his own god and earn everything himself and have to toil for it. Where the kingdom of God that Jesus came to teach us about, that Jesus taught us about when he came to die for our sins, is about sowing and reaping and saying and believing. That's why it's impossible to please God without faith because you need faith to take seed that he gives you and to sow it. Uh, where the earth system says, take all you can, keep all you get, store, store it up, stock it up, keep it for yourself, try to get ahead. But the kingdom system says, take a seed and sow it and you'll get back harvest. And if you look at, he talked about seed all the way through here. And if you look at a fruit seed, Seed multiplication of the fruit seed is much more different than just going out and, and working for something. God did not intend for us to sweat and toil in order to make a living, in order to survive. He intended us to live with abundant life, more than we could ask, think, or imagine. Overflow of everything. That He would be our God, and as our God, He provides for us. He, he makes it ours. Only later, man cursed the earth by his disobedience and earth wouldn't yield for him so you see God's original in, original intent was for man to be blessed in every area of, of their life not to have to toil to do a they were created for a certain job Adam and Eve were to till and take care of the garden they were to uh, have dominion and authority over it they didn't have to go out uh, and try to go to work to make a living they enjoyed what they did they had fellowship with God and that was God's original intent so what I really want you to see today is that God's intent is for us to have to know why we were created and then to look to him to bring in the finances on how to sow and how to reap and that is the kingdom system and that's what I want to share with you so when we're in poverty when we're in lack we are really not living up to the expectation of God, what God planned and intended for us. God wants us prosperous 
overflowing, extravagant, and more than enough. More than enough. He has abundance for us. So I'm going to be teaching on the kingdom uh, and kingdom principles. So just get uh, on my website, robinbremer.net, and learn more about it. Uh, I'll learn more about kingdom principles, learn more about living in the kingdom, the supernatural things of God, and all the goodness that God already did and planned for us and how to get a hold of that goodness. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. Check it out, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.